Hi, my name is Bernt Mortensen. I'm working for Värestad in Sweden, the factory, with marketing, particularly interest for uh, introduction of new products. And today here in Montana region, we have the first Sidok Europe in field in Bulgaria, uh, in a challenging condition. Sidok is a well-known product in Canada. It's mainly big machines, 24 meter toolbar and 35 cubic cart. And that's not possible to use in, in Europe because they are almost six meter in transport. So that's not possible. So here we have assigned a European version, six, eight and nine meter. And the biggest difference is that we have a disc in front of the culture system. So it's a knife culture, one for fertilizer and one for seed. And those two cultures create a little bit of strip till uh, with fine tilt and place seed and fertilizer with very high precision without any residues. So all residues are placed at the side. And the disc makes that we can go in any more or less any condition with heavy residues, corn stubble and so on. The hopper is in total seven cubic and it's split in three, three different hopper. The first one is 2,400 liter, middle one 2,000 liter and the rear one 2,600 liter. And we can use each hopper so we can have three products and we can place them in the fertilizer knife or in the seed knife or in the same. So we can mix it as we want. On this machine is a nine meter machine behind me. So there are three sections and it's possible to operate with uh, Isobus task control. So when you're coming to the headland, it switches off the metering system for one or all section at the same time. And in the same time, it lifts the culture out of the ground. So it's a very flexible and it will meet the future farmers' demand. I'm quite sure about that. And in the, if you see the front wheel, it's also special design. So it's quite a long machine, but it follows the tractor very nicely. So when you turn around at the headland, you can be sure that the machine is standing just straight behind the tractor. To operate the machine, we use a standard iPad. And I think it's quite easy to, to understand and uh, easy to operate. And we have a lot of function there. And we can, of course, operate the machine. But for a service technician, we can also go and, and check all the sensor, all the function on, uh, on the machine there. So there is a lot of possibility here. We think it will be very successful and there is a high demand in, in Europe. And we can see that the condition, for example, here in South Europe, it gets hotter and hotter. And uh, we are now close to November and it's very hot. So it's, it's important that we keep the moisture and that we can have, create have a, a good crop with high quantity, with good quality, and that we save the, the soil and the condition, and that we adapt to future condition in the best way. So try to increase the yield and reduce the cost. That is the idea about this machine.